In the spring of 1991, Ashley asked me to spend the night at her house. Here I was, this little kindergartner, first time going off to my first overnight. I remember my mom asking me, are you ready for this? Are you going to be okay with this? You're not going to get scared and, you know, want to, you know, be with mommy and daddy, you know, okay? I was all excited. No, I want to go play at Ashley's house. I want to spend the night. Because at Ashley's house, as a young kid, as maybe some of you can look back on your childhood and can remember, when your friends have things that you don't have, that you always want. So there's that thing that I always wanted that Ashley had was this huge, life-size dollhouse. So whenever I go over to Ashley's house, we'd be in the in her back bedroom playing with her huge dollhouse for hours. And so spending the night, that meant more time playing with her huge dollhouse. And so that night, went over there with my little sleeping bag. We sat watching Disney movies, playing with her dollhouse. And eventually it came time to go to bed. Ashley climbed up in her bed. I on the ground, climbed in my sleeping bag, and snuggled in to go to sleep. And fell asleep. But to this day, and as a young child, I was a very light sleeper. The slightest little noise would wake me up, and I would be up for hours. He had such a hard time falling back asleep. So if I hear a knock at the door, something coming in, you know, the slightest something falling in the room, I wake up. And so this particular night, after falling asleep and going to bed, I heard the door open. Well, suddenly I'm now awake. And in walking into the room is Ashley's uncle. Well, I didn't think much of it, because as a young child, my parents were always coming in, and checking on us to make sure we were asleep and not running around, goofing around in each other's bedrooms, um, or to tuck us in. So I saw Ashley's uncle come in. Well, being the little six-year-old that I was that was full of questions, I immediately sat up. And I was ready to look at him and ask him, you know, what do you want? You know, I was ready to answer, ask him a question. And suddenly I saw the door close, but just as I'm about to open my mouth and say something to him, he did a symbol that I've seen so many times, time and again, as a kindergartner from my teachers. It was a symbol to be quiet. Don't say anything. Well, here I've got this authority figure above looking down you know, at me, telling me to be quiet, so I stayed quiet. And I just kind of looked at him seriously. Well, then all of a sudden he got down to my level. The door is now closed. Ashley's still sleeping. And suddenly he's laying me back down from sitting up. Well, eventually, as you can probably understand where the story is going, I go from laying down on the ground to suddenly this man going down the sleeping bag and beginning to molest me for the first time in my life.